Short Me Tina here from shortmetina.com doing a really quick video recap on ticker HMNY. Uh, this is a daily chart, but I want to zoom in on price action um, within the last month or two. Um, so I kind of against conventional, my conventional way of trading. I don't typically add to lose in positions, uh, but with HMNY, you know, going into it, my plan was to allocate anywhere from 1% to 3%. Right now, I'm fully at 1% of my trading portfolio, uh, and I might um, find that sweet spot at 2%. So I might actually still add uh, to this particular to, to my, my holdings, right? I'm building a position. Now, a lot of people have asked me, will it work? Won't it work? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. You know, when we trade, we make, uh, in my opinion, you know, we make the the best bet, right? From a risk reward perspective, we make the best bet. And for me, uh, sitting here at about 17 or 19 cents, right? What did we close at today? We closed at 19 cents. I said to myself, you know what? I'll take a chance. Uh, my first ad was like in the low ones. Second ad was around 50 cents. My third ad right now was around um, uh, 19 cents. My average right now is m around 30 cents, so I'm definitely underwater. Uh, but that's okay, not losing sleep because again, I have defined, right? I've already, I've set my parameters. What's my parameters? I'm going to I'm going to put up anywhere from 1 to 3% of my entire trading capital, right? And so if this goes um, bust, I would have lost 1 to 3% of my entire trading capital. But that's okay. Why? Because I still have monies to trade another day. Um, and that's where a lot of new traders tend to go wrong. Uh, you know, in terms of position sizing, they tend to, you know, bet really big. Hence why a lot of folks that are underwater uh, you know, they're probably losing sleep over this. I do not lose sleep over ticker HMNY at all. Um, in fact, I think my odds are actually pretty good based on the price point, um, based on my average now, uh, and that might, might actually get lowered. Um, at any rate, so short-term support going into tomorrow, next week, uh, you know, the weeks thereafter, it's not looking good. We closed it, uh, you know, 19 cents. The low of the day was around uh, 1880, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of selling above average. Closed very low. We we closed so close to the low of the day. Uh, typically, that signifies that there might be more downside. But let's see if that 17 cents area can hold. Right? We've kind of bounced around there for a bit. You know, we got to 17 cents here. We bounced. Got to 18 cents here. We bounced hit that low of 18 cents, we bounce. Uh, so for the past few trading days, 17 to 18 cents seems to be sort of like support, shorter term support or some sort of a floor. So let's see if that's the floor. I think it might be, we might dip to around uh, probably 17 or 16 cents, but if this is not capitulation, I don't know what capitulation is. I mean, there's been nothing but selling uh, with this stock from $2. So. I think that 17 to 19 cents might be support, uh, hence why I added around there. So that's my take. Let's see uh, if that plays out to be true. I'm not expecting this stock to shoot up, uh, although it can. You know, it demonstrated uh, a couple of days ago that it can easily uh, get 40% in one day, you know, but I'm not expecting it to get back to $2 anytime soon. But time will tell. Let's see. So that's my take on uh, ticker HMNY. I'm not um, extremely bullish in the shorter term, but I think um, you know if you take about a two, three, four, five year time horizon, this might actually be a decent uh, buy because this stock was at one point trading at around uh, you know most recently four dollars. Um, so to say that it can't get back there um, would be foolish in my opinion. But who knows? Let's see. So short me Tina here. Something like a video recap on ticker HMNY. Uh, I'm in with an average of around uh, 30 something cents, um, allocating 1 to 3% of my portfolio. Right now I'm at 1%. I'm debating whether or not you know I'm going to make it a full 3%, stay at 1%, or if I'm going to get to 2 Probably find that sweet spot somewhere in the middle. Uh, so with these sorts of stocks, you definitely want to define 
define your risk, define your parameters. And once you do that, it makes sort of like staying the course so much easier when you've already defined, uh, you know, how much you're going to allow the market to take from you. Okay. Short me Tina, short me Tina.com. If you enjoy this lengthy uh, video recap, do two things for me. Head on over to my YouTube channel, Short Me Tina, and hit that subscribe button. Then head on over to shortmetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for listening.